In this tutorial, we will seek to examine the issue of whether sociology is a science, a highly requested topic. The arguments presented will make the case for sociology as a science. Let's begin. Students tend to find this question difficult to answer. To answer this question, you must consider whether sociology can be studied in the same way as the natural sciences. Let's define sociology. In the most basic sense, sociology is the study of human society. How is the study of human society conducted? Is it through the use of systematic, objective methods of research? Or is it through the search for the subjective meanings human beings attach to their behavior? Human beings are social creatures. This is a social fact. However, sociologists are divided in terms of how human society should be studied. Proponents of the scientific study of human society are known as positivists, and they believe that human behavior can be observed scientifically. Why? It is believed that scientific methods of research helps to establish laws or patterns of behavior. Therefore, if scientific methods of research are applied to the study of human society, then laws of human behavior can be formulated which can then be used to explain how human society function. This is the rationale behind using scientific methods in sociological research. Let's first take a brief look at the original theorists who ascribed to scientific methodology and their rationale for doing so, August Comte and Emile Durkheim. August Comte developed the positivist theory between the years 1830 to 42. He believed that the best way to understand and improve human society was to develop a positive science of society using natural science methods of investigation and analysis. Emile Durkheim, argued to be the founder of the discipline of sociology, believed that social facts exist in human society and these social facts can be discovered through scientific experiments and observation. Both Comte and Durkheim believed that sociology is a science and it needed to be such in their quest to discover the absolute truth of natural laws that govern human society. This quest for the universal laws of human society came at a time when philosophers were moving away from the superstitious beliefs of the Middle Ages and seeking for a more rational explanation of human action and natural phenomena. However, not all sociologists agree that the positivist method lead to the discovery of absolute truth. Karl Popper believes that whilst sociology can be scientific, it can only be so if it methodically follows the procedures of science. It will not lead to absolute truth. Although sociology can apply scientific methods of research, the results yielded will not necessarily lead to the discovery of universal laws of behavior. Other positivists, such as Keat and Yuri, counter Popper's argument by highlighting that there are many overlaps between the natural sciences and sociology. Lynch further makes the case for sociology as a science by concluding from research that scientists make assumptions when there are ambiguities in their results. Therefore, according to Lynch, Sociology can be a science when it uses scientific methods of research and the fact of making assumptions during the course of sociological analysis is also scientific. Kuhn asserts that scientific research is not engaged in the objective search of knowledge. Rather, their knowledge is located within a framework of paradigms or perspectives. This is very much similar to sociology. Sociology has a series of competing perspectives which seek to explain social life. Consequently, to Kuhn, sociology is a science. To summarize, positivists see little difference between natural science research and sociological investigations. Both have competing perspectives and make assumptions when there are ambiguities. To conclude, one may argue that it is difficult to state with absolute certainty that the use of scientific methods in the study of human society will yield accurate information. 
Further, not all aspects of human society can be studied through the use of scientific methods. Is sociology a science? The answer depends on the perspective and values of the sociologist answering this question. In this tutorial, we have outlined arguments which assert that sociology is a science.